the next feature which i wanted to show is that we are now separating the columns from a cell in a select query by comma till date as an abapper you did not use a comma to separate the columns you did not say select matner comma works you did not say that you always said select matner works into table it matner from marcy something like that you did not use a comma but from going now going forward in 7.4 you can use comma so let's see how we can do it before that we'll just comment this part control 7 and then i'll add our third syntax so what is the third syntax third syntax is comma in select right i'll just say comma comma in select query so how how, how do we do that say i write select mndt then comma then i'll say works comma then i'll say regio comma then name one up to up to say we want 10 rows from so this is up to 10 rows from say t001 w into i'll say table then i'll give an inline declaration data i'll say it flat and then give a full stop see the error went away now i want to activate it let's see perfect see activation for this successful uh, let's put a uh, size over c so that we can put a debugger here so equal to zero and if so i'll activate this and then i'll put a debugger here double click thing double click here and then i execute it i'll do f8 so it brings at the debugger stops it is in a debug perspective now i see the plant so there are 10 entries here okay so if i execute nothing will happen we have to come back to our about perspectives so hope um, by now you will know how to do an inline declaration you know that a host uh, has variable has to be escaped using at the rate and then you also need a comma when you select particular columns from a table so um, we have to use these new features in all the exercises